Hey everyone, welcome to your take a peek at 2022 reading. We want to take a peek because do we really want all the surprises ruined? Because how fun would that be? <laughs> I know sometimes we wish maybe I would like to know everything that's going to happen. But uh, I think we've tried that before and it was very boring. So we'll leave the exciting journey, uh, you know, going forward. And besides, we'll get messages and hints all along the way. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos that I put out um, throughout the weeks and the months of all next year, and you want to get notified immediately, if you haven't done so already, if you click the subscribe button down below, that'll just make a little notification bell pop up and then you can select be notified immediately and that way you won't miss out on a thing because 2022 is going to be an amazing year the physical world is going to continue to disappoint us until we discover more and more of the powerful supernatural eternal spirit being we really are and we'll find that when we're looking on the inside, right? And I just announced on New Year's Eve last night, um, this video is coming out on January 1st, but I did a little video announcing that I'm going to be having a weekly video for all of 22 called You Times Two. And that are gonna be basically messages about how we can do that, how we can uh, discover that there are two of us inside of us, you know, our human side, but then also, you know, this character um, of the human, but we're uh, more than that. We are this powerful supernatural being. And so all of those messages are going to be about just how we understand that, who we are, etc. So if you want to look into that, um, you can check out the video that I put out last night. I go into a little more detail, but stay tuned because it's coming and I'm super excited about it. But for this reading, let's go ahead and jump in and take a peek at your 2022. And you're going to have three choices. You have the star, the sparkler, or the fire rocket. And of course, you can choose as many of those as you want, whatever you're drawn to. Um, I'll have timestamps in the description box below for all of them, but I'm going to jump into number one first. So if you want any of the others, just click on that timestamp and it'll jump you forward to that uh, video. But I'm going to start with reading number one, the blue star right now. All right, all my Pisces, if you chose reading number one, which is the star, then this is the reading for you. And we're going to start off by pulling a card here from the Enchanted Map Oracle. Just see what the little sneak peek the creator has for you for the next year, at least right now, what they want you to know. So for our Pisces stars, what would you like them to know? Okay, and this one, okay. So you've got listening, card number 53, beautiful green, and you also have 41 unexpected visitors. Very nice. So let's put these right here and let's see what energies these bring and just how they relate to one another. And so 53 says an open heart will hear the message. When this card appears, you're being reminded that there's a time to speak and a time to be silent. Now is an occasion for listening. Pay attention not only to what is being spoken, but also to what is not being said at the moment, for the deeper message is not always obvious. Listen with your heart, not just your big elephant ears, <laughs> and you'll find clarity. Receiving this listening card is a fortunate sign and ensures a greater understanding of your circumstances. So yeah, I really feel like this too just screams of listening to the spiritual realm, listening to the Holy Spirit, to the Creator, to Spirit, to your guardian angels and angels and your spirit guides and your loved ones on the other side and your ancestors, all those beings of unconditional love and light are literally, there's like these little tunes here, singing a song to you, singing a song of love and bringing you the capital T truth, allowing you to see and hear things in a whole different way. 
Then you have the unexpected visitors. It says, if you expect the unexpected, you'll be prepared for miracles. Detours, surprises, and paradigm shifts expect the unexpected. No matter how detailed your plans are and how clear you believe the road ahead to be, there are times when the best plans are waylaid by unforeseen circumstances. At first, detours may seem inconvenient, but a surprise turn of events signals that the adventure of life is beginning to get interesting. No one can plan for synchronicity, for fate and destiny to meet, except spirit, who knows what you can't comprehend for now. Life is full of surprises, so stay on your toes and enjoy this exciting new adventure you weren't expecting. There's a plan for your life that may not match up with your agenda. And I really feel like there's this I call it like the Wheel of Fortune or the, the Tower cards in the Major Arcana because they represent that, you know, when from our human standpoint, we th see things removed out of our life or things moving in and out and we feel out of control during it. But when we are able to connect to spirit, like it mentions here, that spirit is the only one that really sees the whole picture, uh, our spiritual realm. And so if we take the time to raise our vibration to that of unconditional love and joy and peace and laughter, that's the frequency at which spirit speaks. When we're in the chaos and all the fear down below, it's so noisy, we can't hear the whispers of love. But when we intentionally raise our vibration and make it a point to communicate consistently with the universe, with the creator, with the spiritual realm, then we get to hear the kind of it's almost like i don't know why they have listening to like a police banner you know like the like you can hear them talking and different things like that you have a clearer picture of what's going on because you hear the communication you see things from a different perspective and things unfolding where if when you're down in it in the maze you just like oh my gosh i feel lost i just don't even know where to go where when you look from a higher perspective you're like oh it's easy you just go here and here and go over here and there you go and so this year is about separating that separating it but joining it together so it's like becoming aware kind of like the like i did in the intro it's becoming aware of your spiritualness your connection to spirit but then bringing that information in and, and walking hand in hand with your spiritual side with your human side and it just gives you this whole new perspective we're also going to pull some cards here from the true heart intuitive tarot and we can see what else the creator wants you to know about your 2022 right now all right, what else for our Pisces stars? Okay, so this one, this one, and this one. What else? Nope, none of those. Okay. Yeah, we'll just leave those up since you saw them. Don't freak out about this. This is not about you dying. This is uh, endings and new beginnings. <laughs> Anything else? Okay, I want that one there. Okay, that's it. <laughs> so we'll talk about the skeleton. The skeleton in the room here, as I call it. So this is death and rebirth. This is the ending, significant ending, significant beginnings that happen in 2022 for you and like i mentioned you know the tower is when something's removed out of our life it makes room for something coming in so this is basically that just letting you know yes just knowing that when something ends in your life or something's removed out of your life it's on purpose for a purpose and it's for you it's not happening to you life is not this out of control drama train that's about to jump the tracks and dramatically explode in a gorge it is more like the monorail at disney world or disneyland that's attached to the track and it's a smooth moving it has all its scheduled stops and things that happen so it's you know it's that you can trust that your life is unfolding for you and that the creator is 
taking care of all the details of all the experiences you wanted to experience before you came down here. And then you have the Queen of Swords here. Swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your expectations, your attitudes. And she yield, wields this Ace of Swords. And that is good because the Ace of Swords, it does bring you capital T truth from above like I was talking about. But it also allows you to cut away those thoughts and those beliefs that no longer serve you. So this is some of the death that's happening here. Some of the endings of the old ways that you approached life. It gave you the experiences that you wanted to experience, but now you're ready for something new and different. Those beliefs that were causing the chaos and the fear and the stress, you're ready to let those go because you're like, okay, I've learned what I can from those, but I'm ready for these, these higher experiences that are coming your way in 2022. She also, of course, is air energy, which is the, the mind. All the queens also bring in water energy, which is of the emotions. And so she also brings this message of this balance between heart and mind. Making decisions strictly from the mind doesn't necessarily align with our highest you know, experience. Also making decisions strictly from you know, emotion, like those extremes, tend not to unfold very well. Um, and all these butterflies that are flying around it has to do with this transformation that's happening as the caterpillar dies the butterfly is born um, and so this transformation of your thoughts and beliefs also transforms your life as you're going through 2022 yep. yep and here you go so you have the devil card here i know you're like ah, oh, death on the devil ah. but don't forget about this one either because this is about your shadow your ego side and this 2022 is this beautiful journey of your shadow side bringing forward these thoughts and these beliefs that are making you feel bound, making you feel trapped, making you feel like, you know, literally like you have this dark cloud over you, like someone is out to get you. You know, you have all these beliefs and all these expectations you know the supposed to's the shoulds the need to's the have to's all those are the chains all those thoughts are what are binding you and making you feel small because that's what the all those expectations of fear do they allow you to experience the opposite of what you really are and if you look at it like um, i had this picture of the Austin Powers series. If you've never watched it, it's basically, it's a comedy, but Austin Powers is the international man of mystery. He's a English or British spy. And Dr. Evil, you know, the evil, he's the villain. And he always ends up capturing Austin Powers somehow in all the series. And but he always spills out his plan to him and they're always telling him, why are you telling him? You know he's gonna escape and foil your plan. And that's kind of what our shadow does. It tells us and it brings like, this is what's trapping you, wink, 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 so that we could look at it. And it brings it into our face so that we could cut it away with this Ace of Swords, cutting away these thoughts and these beliefs that no longer serve us because you're ready to be free. You're ready not to feel this oppression, suppression, this chained feeling, this, you know, dark energies. You're ready for this new light, which is why the Death Card is here. It's the ending of this and the new beginnings, and this is the catalyst that helps you do that. Yep, and then you have the High Priestess. So this would be you, you know, the she's moon energy, she's water energy. She sees behind this veil. This is the veil that separates our human side from the knowledge of our spiritual self. So the number two, like I mentioned in the intro, this is you times two, you're realizing that you can go behind that veil, that you can move into those higher places, get that higher knowledge. She also, like the high priestess, she'll go into her temple away from everything, away from all the noise, like I talked about, so that she can listen, so that she can hear, so that she can see from those higher perspectives. So this is perfect that this came out for this card because this is about taking time away, getting away from all the 
the social media that is all negativity, negativity, and fear, 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 fear. And what music are you listening to? What are you bringing in your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your touch? It's surrounding yourself with unconditional love and connecting to the spiritual realm. And I know you can't really do that 24-7. But this is this importance for taking time away to do that within your day. Yeah, even making it a daily thing that you do step away to do that. Yeah, because here's the Nine of Cups. Cups are your emotions. This is the water I was talking about. And this, the Nines are about that you find it within yourself. And this is like the wish fulfillment card. The feeling whole and complete. But it doesn't have anything to do with the outside. It's finding all of them from within yourself here. So, you know, this is a beautiful card to come up here because it is. This is the reiteration that you are finding this from within this beautiful emotional fulfillment with connecting to the upper realms is what's going to make you feel move from this to feeling like this. Yeah, and then here's the tower. So exactly what I was talking about <laughs> earlier, the tower feelings. And so I'll go into tell you the story, the full story, because I didn't go into uh, complete details. But so it starts off like, like I mentioned, the will of fortune feeling, which is you as your powerful spiritual self, before you come down here, choose what human is going, like this little character that you're playing here, What's going to represent you? It's like a little avatar or the character in the movie. And you decide when you're going to enter the movie and when you're going to leave the movie. And you decide all these faded events on what you want to experience when you come down here as this human. And within each of those faded events or circumstances that unfold in your life, you still have the power of choice. You still get to choose what that circumstance means and you get to choose what emotion you want to feel during it. Are you going to choose an extreme emotion of unconditional love or an extreme emotion of fear or something in between? But you get to choose within each of those faded events. The events bring around your experiences that your higher self wanted to experience here. Because in experiencing these things, you understand more fully who you are by experiencing a lot of the emotions of who you're not, right? It's like understanding, experiencing sadness allows you to really understand the joy, the essence of the joy that you really are. That's what's behind this veil here. And then, um, like I said, what that does is that transforms and allows you to see that life is very much planned. You still have this freedom to choose within each circumstance. So your life is not out of control. It's not happening to you. Your life is happening for you. And where the tower comes in is that you have these faded events that are happening and there's this faded event that's been in your life, whether it's a relationship of some sort, a circumstance of some sort, whether it's job, education, or just a situational type of thing, or some thing, some you know, like possessions or your bank accounts or your physical body. There's been something that's been going on in your life that has been faded for it to be up to this point, but in order for you to experience these other faded events, this needs to be removed to open up the door for that. And like I talked about, when you are connected to spirit and you're listening, you can hear the countdown to this little lightning bolt shock therapy treatment that's gonna to come to burn down that and remove it out of your life. So you'll hear the five, four, three, two, one. And what's beautiful about that, sometimes you'll see in a tarot someone leaping out and then of course the other person being blasted out of the tower and the person blasted out of the tower means that they allowed it to be removed for them but if you're listening to spirit and you're hearing that countdown when you start to hear the countdown of this thing being removed you can remove it earlier which is you leaping out of the tower so you don't have to have that electric shock therapy treatment <laughs> but there's no judgment there's no foul if you wait to the last moment and allow it to be removed for you because honestly 
all of our spiritual beings when we come down we want to experience everything to this the fullest uh, these emotions that we might be uncomfortable for our human side are so delicious for our spiritual experiences so if you do go up to that just know that when these things get removed out of your life in 2022 like we talked about that it's happening for you it is not happening to you and then we're going to at least pull one card from this art of manifestation oracle to see what else the creator wants you to know about your 2022 What else for our Pisces stars? What else do you want them to know about their 2022? Okay, that one. Any others? Okay. Okay. So we got these three. Just move these off here and we'll start with this one. And you've got <laughs> let go gracefully. <laughs> so let go of this thing something in your life is calling for you to let it go so let go gracefully whatever has taken place in the past it is time to move forwards and letting go will make way for the new whether this is a person a situation an outdated thought or behavior pattern this card comes to assure you that the new horizons are waiting for you so yeah this death and this rebirth this letting go of this thing to make room for this new horizon and then well which way do i go which direction you've reached a turning point in your life boom do not be afraid of taking the wrong path when you recognize the learning to be found at every step in every moment of your journey you will realize that there is no wrong way only the infinite gain of your personal growth and evolution so that's exactly what we're talking about too about this tower in fact we'll put this over here because this is unfolding for you everything is unfolding for your experience and your growth nothing is happening to you so i love that and then you have independence card number 24. and that says independence is a wonderful attribute but if taken to an extreme it can border on isolation sometimes if we've been hurt or let down or trapped in a codependent relationship we lose faith in others and learn only to rely on ourselves this card calls you to question this inner belief and to develop healthy interdependent relationships with an equality of both giving and receiving so this is letting go of these old thoughts and beliefs that no longer serve you you know these and i kind of feel like this is your higher self and this is your human self this whole you to, you times two it begins with you loving yourself and having confidence and listening to spirit knowing that you are never alone and with you finding your independence by finding you know like this nine is about independence right finding within yourself this wholeness and this completeness and this inner love that allows you to other people to give you what they're able to give and you give what you're able to give but it's not out of need and necessity it's out of want and you filling up and overflowing to them it's not about them being your source of love and your source of wholeness and completeness and your definition this is about finding your independence and not having to have to this codependent relationship but inter-independent relationships you stand on your own they stand on their own and what you give is extra whereas before when you were looking at them as they need to give me what i need to feel good about myself they were always failing there was always a gap between your expectations and what they were able to give but when your expectations go to zero anything they give is above and beyond so i love that so remember now this is just a little peek through the keyhole of your future this by no means is all inclusive of what you're going to experience in 2022 so if you want to be kept in the loop on any other messages that come out because i do put out monthly readings by each of the zodiac signs weekly energy updates by each of the elements like fire signs water signs etc 
full moon and new moon readings and a variety of others. So as I mentioned in the intro, if you click the subscribe button and then the notification bell, then that will allow you to choose to be notified immediately when new videos become available. So it's easy breezy and then you won't miss a thing. Also, if you're enjoying these videos and want to help share the love, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button, then that just allows the YouTube algorithm to share this as a recommended video with others as well. Never any pressure to do so, but if you so choose, I greatly appreciate it. All right, all my Pisces, just know as you are going throughout each and every second of every day of your life, that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing 2022, but I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. So until then, you take care. All right, on my Pisces, if you chose reading number two, which is the sparkler, then this is the reading for you. We're gonna start off pulling a card here from the Enchanted Map Oracle. This is just gonna be your sneak peek into 2022 and what the creator wants you to know about this next year right now. All right, so for our Pisces sparklers, what would you like them to know about their 2022, please? Okay, got that one, and I like that one too. So your first card is coming apart, 46. And don't be afraid of this one. This is like when you add four and six together, it's 10. It's about endings and new beginnings. So there is something that's coming apart to make room for the new. And so it's not, it's for you, it's not anything bad. Yeah, and then you have 22 for 2022 for intentions. So you have your beautiful little owl sitting on top of this beautiful big egg, this new birth that's coming in, and the uh, little uh, dandelion that you're going to blow on to have the wishes. And it's funny because an egg has to come apart in order for whatever was in the egg to come out, right? So let's take a look and see what other energies come with this and how they interrelate. So we'll start with number 46. Maybe. Okay, here we go. So it says, now is the time to take separate paths. The coming apart card is a sign to put an end to what is no longer working for you. Has a commitment been broken or an egg been broken? <laughs> Perhaps you need to break a promise or change course because you took on more than you could handle. This is a perfect time to reassess your goals and values. Are your actions in alignment with what you believe in? Have you created a partnership that is not mutually beneficial? Separation, disillusion, and dispersion are all in focus now. If someone wishes to break away from you, don't chase the relationship out of a sense of fear. The price you'll pay will not be worth the price. <laughs> Separating, I'm sorry, separation brings good fortune. So. Yeah, definitely this ending and new beginning, the ending is happening for you. So any separation, any movement, any breaking apart of things like the egg is happening for you. And so don't chase after it. If it's meant for you, it'll come back around. If it's not meant for you, then you do want to let it go because that just means something bigger and better, more in alignment for what you want in your life is coming your way. And then intention, it says deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change the world. Your objectives will be fulfilled in 2022. Inspired intentions are like magic arrows shot into the sky. The universe, the creator, is bringing you a gift, showing you that you're hitting your mark. Recognize you're not the one who has to do all the work, however. Others help you co-create your reality. You connect to the power of your intention, sending it out into the field, like blowing on the little dandelion wishful things here, right? And then you allow for synchronicity to work its magic. You allow the creator and all the, your posse of support on the other side to help work those things out. And perhaps the good intentions of others will inspire you to send out beautiful ones of your own. 
own the life you want to lead and live deliberately with clarity and detachment. So yeah, this is definitely about finding where you want to invest your energy and where you're investing energy into a black hole. Let that go. Let it come apart. Detach all that energy you're focusing on stuff that you're not wanting to grow in your life and focus it on what you do want to grow in your life. We're of course going to pull more cards here. This is from the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. Just see what else the creator wants you to know about your 2022 at this point. One more time there. That was not a very productive shuffle. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so for our sparkler Pisces, what else would you like them to know about their 2022? Okay, so these three and this one this one and this one all right so starting off here boom you have the sun one of the most brilliant obviously bright successful positive cards in the entire deck so i like that they had this come out because it's like well i don't know if i really am buying into this totally worth it because you're gonna feel like you're out in the sun just underneath feeling the beautiful, beautiful brightness of your life. This is you glowing as you embrace this and allow these changes to come. So this is totally what they want you to know. This is the end result. If you do this and you go through this process and you let things go, it's going to be for your greatest benefit. And the Seven of Cups. Cups are your emotions. It's the water energy. It's, it's your Piscean energy. And so emotions and all of that are not new to you, obviously. You're not afraid of it. It's what you swim in every day, being the little fishies of the zodiac. And so you're not afraid of this, but this is very empowering because on the other end of this, you realize that there's all these emotional choices that you can make. And this awareness that comes is this clarity of the confusion. It's like, well, how am I supposed to feel? And you have this, like when these events happen in your life, you know, when things are being removed, you, like you have these mixed feelings on how you're supposed to feel. But there's this empowerment that comes because there is no wrong emotion to feel. You just don't want it to become these tsunamis and have it devastate you. In fact, it's weird. I, I have this... Not, I guess it's not weird, it's just funny for me because it reminds me of Moses when he put his stepped into the sea and the waters parted. And so this is about knowing that you control the action around your emotions, whatever step you take toward, like we we're talking about, whatever you focus your energy on is what grows because one of my favorite stories that my mom loves, loved in the movie was the waters didn't start to part until Moses took a step into the water. It didn't separate and then he started walking. It was like it took that action of stepping into it that whoosh, then it opened up. And so this is about the power that you have with your choice of what emotions you want to feel. This clarity and this confusion that you had before about how am I supposed to feel when these things live, leave my life or something cracks open. It's like, but this is happening for you. The waters are coming apart. They're parting for you to take you from one place to another. So I love that message. I would never have read that before, but that totally came in now. And then you have the nine of wands. Wands is your drive, your ambition, your aha inspiration, your spiritual energy, your passion of life. And you can see like all these shadows, all the supposed to's, the shoulds, all that energy that you had from before, you're ready to let that go. The nine is about you finding this inner energy within you. You're discovering that where you focus is what grows. And this is about don't give up, just you're almost at the 10, which the 10 is the ending and the new beginning. You're so close to letting 
like transforming that energy that you have within you from fo not focusing on what you don't want and focusing on what you do want and this transition happens here and it's like yes be aware of the cycles that you've gone through and that your this clarity is coming here and so not only are you able to choose what emotions you want you're also able to choose where you want to invest your energy and you're ready you're so ready to let this old way of using your energy go that you're like the shadowy times that you experienced happened on purpose for a purpose and you wanted to experience that so don't judge yourself for having experienced uncomfortable emotions and sadness and depression and anger and resentment and bitterness all those delicious emotions of the shadow that we came here to experience but you're ready for something new and so this is you're so much in 2022 going to be hitting that new mark of where you want to go to this beautiful brightness and joy that you feel there yeah so here's the Wheel of Fortune, a 10, endings and new beginnings. And this Wheel of Fortune story, and it's funny, just as I did that the on the little timestamp, it was 10, 10. <laughs> so I thought I'd mention that. So definitely, this beautiful story around the Wheel of Fortune is that before you came down here, you as your higher self chose the character, the little avatar, this human character you're playing on this earth. You determined when you were going to arrive and when you're going to leave and all these faded events that you have going on throughout your life. But within each of the faded events, you do have this power to choose what story you apply to that situation and as we talked about what emotion you're going to feel in that situation. So it does transform this belief where your life might feel like before this out of control drama train that's about to jump the leaf off the tracks and explode dramatically in the gorge as it hits and explodes but life is more controlled than that life is more faded out and has all these beautiful events that are happening it's more like a monorail train at like disney world where it's attached to the track it moves smoothly and has all these design stops that happen perfectly and so we move from this place where we feel like life is happening to us and we're a victim to a victor and that life is happening for us so there's this understanding that all this stuff what's coming apart what's leaving our lives is happening on purpose for a purpose for us so i love that this came up here for you especially after the nine going into the ten yeah here's the empress energy she's all about creativity it's mother nature mother nurture taking care of yourself making sure you're nurturing but it is also about new birth and growth and freedom and flowing with nature and with life instead of trying to control everything so this is a beautiful card that's coming in because it is very much this beautiful sunny bright energy that's happening this flowingness of life it's like when you get under nature away from everything it's much more quiet out there than when you're in the hustle and bustle of your life so if you can this also is like a little subtle message for the entire year get out in nature as much as you possibly can whether it's going to a park or even getting out into your backyard as long as you promise not to look around your yard to figure out okay what do i got to work on if you get out there just to enjoy and be in that but really getting away usually from your home and your surroundings help you see things from a different perspective and take a deep breath out there and then you have the five of discs which would be the five of pentacles and the fives are about transformation and, and making a change in how you feel about things there's two messages that come with this for you with the five of pentacles one is about seeing your worth and you can only love others to the extent that you love yourself and you can only receive from others to the extent that you love yourself so if it's this tiny little hole this is how much love is going to trickle out of you and love is going to trickle into you and so that's one of the messages is like being aware of your self-love and the more you expand your inner love 
the more it expands your ability to love others and for others to give love to you. But you're finding this love from inside of you, from inside your egg, not from the outside world anyway. That's where you learn about this your self-worth from the and how you look at it from the outside world because usually the card will show someone like um there are there are two characters out in the snow and they're you know making their way across it they're barefoot one has a bandage like on their head the other one has a broken arm and a hurt leg and they have a crutch and they're feel abandoned they feel neglected they feel worthless and like no one's going to help them they feel like that uh, huge abandonment feeling but the transformation that happens that five that change that happens in that perspective in that perception of your life is that there's also this huge stained glass window behind it with the five pentacles in it which is about changing your, your viewpoint understanding that your worth that your needs are met by the creator of all things by the universe by the spiritual world and that the humans are not where it comes from you know the creator has a limitless supply um, it has endless resources and that the world is only the middleman it's only the shipping company by which your needs are brought to you and so you always will have what you need in the moment you may not have the needs of your entire life in this moment you know because tomorrow will have will take care of itself but you will have what you need today if it is meant for you it will not pass you by if it's not meant for you it'll move on right this coming apart once it's done its job it'll move on but this is all about finding your wholeness and completeness and your trust in the creator of all things trusting timing it's like if you're going to trust the creator got to trust the timing too but this is all about finding your wholeness and completeness from within rather than from without and then we're also going to pull at least one card from this art of manifestation oracle and just see what else the creator wants you to know about your 2022 right now all right what else for our pisces sparklers please okay i feel like that one and that one and the first one here is mistakes oh no <laughs> that says if you feel you have made a mistake or indeed someone else has done so with impact on you please do not feel bad about this treasure and value your mistakes and those of others around you they are the cutting edge of our personal growth and evolution lean into the learning and celebrate your openness to grow and i like that the wheel of fortune here is really speaking because this tells you that there really are no mistakes right no mistakes our human side will perceive mistakes because we have all these supposed to's and shoulds and need to's and have to's these expectations that don't get met and then we feel like oh we failed or they failed or things didn't turn out the way they're supposed to be but trusting that everything unfolds perfectly for us allows you to look at everything as a growing experience and like we mentioned if it's meant for you it'll be there if it's not meant for you it'll leave and so when something is taken or removed from our life or we have this experience that didn't match up to what we thought we were supposed to it is brings it brings us clarity like we talked about with these emotions it moves the fog out of our life because we suddenly see and these situations are brought into our face so that we could face these beliefs that really don't serve us anymore they served us for a time but they don't serve us anymore and then you got difficult emotions yep card number 11. And this card asks you to listen to your emotions like the seven of cups every emotion we have is necessary and important to us even the challenging ones difficult feelings are letting you know that something is not okay 
learn to understand and love your emotions and discover how they serve you. Like that seven of cups. There is no wrong emotion. I usually say that emotions are flags that something can be looked at inside of us. If it's a uncomfortable emotion of our fear and our shadow that like this mistakes brings to our face the opportunity to question our belief. Well, if I feel this way, is that really true? Is that thought and that belief really of unconditional love or the fear of losing conditional love? Is it of the fear you go or is it of the spiritual realm? Is it a capital T truth or a small t truth? And that is what brings it all to us. If it's not a difficult emotion and it's a beautiful, joyful emotion, it, you know, spirit is this like this brightness, spiritual world, hot capital T truths make us feel light. The shadowy emotions of fear make us feel heavy. And so it's very easy for us to identify that with this as well. So I love this for you. Now, this is just a little sneak peek through the keyhole of your future of 2022. So by no means is all encompassing of what you're going to experience. So if you want to be included on any other messages that come out throughout the year, because I do monthly readings by each zodiac sign, weekly energy updates for each of the elements, like fire signs, water signs, etc. Also new moon, full moon readings, and a variety of others. So if you don't want to miss out on those, like I mentioned in the intro, if you click the subscribe button the notification bell will pop up and then you can just set your setting there to be notified immediately also if you're enjoying these videos and want to help share the love if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button that just helps the YouTube algorithm share these as recommended videos with others so never any pressure to do so but if you feel so inclined I am greatly appreciative of that all right on my Pisces just know as you're going throughout every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing 2022, but I'm sure I'm going to be talking to you very soon. So until then, you take care. All right, on my Pisces, if you chose reading number three, which is the fire rocket, then this is the reading for you. And we're going to start off by choosing a card from the Enchanted Map Oracle. And this is just going to be a sneak peek into your 2022 with what the Creator wants you to know right now about the upcoming year. So for our Pisces Fire Rockets, what would you like them to know about their upcoming year, please? Okay, that one, and that one, and that one, okay. Boom, boom, boom. So you have the coming to life. Beautiful. Card number 29. So this new spark of life for you. And you've got the one ring circus. 15. So this is about finding it within yourself, not involving a two ring or a three ring circus, but you're finding this oneness within you. Yep. And you have the compass. So you are definitely getting this direction and this guidance in your life as well. So let's take a look at these energies, see how they interact. We'll start with number 29, which is coming to life. So something beautiful is being born in your life in 2022. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identified and created new ones, or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time, and spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own, right? <laughs> this card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream, and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. So that is beautiful. There's this beautiful 
life that is unfolding for you and it's being unfolded by the divine and i love a little butterfly that's glowing there in the bottom which is this beautiful i'm saying keep it saying beautiful 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 but it does it feels very beautiful it's this transformation of your life coming forward so yeah evidently it's beautiful because i kept on saying it <laughs> i know i need to get a thesaurus but those are coming from spirit so evidently beautiful is the huge maybe it's the the word for you for 2022 beauty beautiful now the one ring circus it says you are capable and you are competent independence is key for this next year as you step into your journey others may not have the vision or the resources that you need recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent capable of moving forward with assurance and self-reliance is important another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another be discerning about your partnerships at this time during 2022 when you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end and others begin you're able to enter into the best kind of relationships and it will attract people who mirror back your home your wholeness interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive stimulating and transformative you can achieve anything during 2022 so yeah definitely this is about finding this wholeness and this completeness within you of course this coming to life really i kind of feel like this has to do with 2022 and you connecting to your higher self and the awareness of who you really are in this inter this wants well, interindependence like you're independent yourself and other people that you draw to you are also independent you're not looking for them to complete you and make you whole you're not a half plus a half equals a whole you're whole and other people are whole and that brings this wholeness around your adventures in 2022 and then you have the compass which this says as long as you orient your compass to capital t true capital n north the direction of your higher power you will never be lost so yeah that does definitely confirms what i was talking about about connecting to your higher self is what is going to be really guiding you during 2022 like i mentioned in the intro it says you're entering uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences to stay on the highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed true north. Only spirit or a higher power can serve this function. Money, property, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can help you, I'm sorry, can't help you find your true path. They are simply things you may experience along your journey know that spirit is working in your life so even if you feel lost temporarily it will be easy to find your way have faith and trust for your compass with spirit as your true north will ensure that you'll never be lost even on a starless night when all seems dark yeah so having spirit your higher self the spiritual world be your true north your compass your guide to whatever you're doing in your life is is this helping me grow my spiritual connection with the creator with spirit with my angels with my spirit guides with my loved ones on the other side my ancestors whatever those beings of unconditional love and light look to you is that whatever you're going through whatever you're focusing on is it bringing you closer if not then the compass is telling you well then maybe you're off course you know it helps you determine when you ever whenever you have a true north as your as your focus then it's easy to question whatever's going on in life whatever decisions you have to make is is it helping me go that direction no then it's not for me is it helping me go that direction yes then that's for me you know so it makes it uh, easier to make decisions we're also going to pull cards here 
from the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. So what else the creator wants you to know about this 2022 sneak peek into your journey. So what else for our Pisces Fire Rockets? Okay, these got snagged on my ring. So these are it. And then they want this one too. Okay. And then what else for our Pisces Fire Rockets? What is that one and this one and this one and they do want this one for at the very top <clears throat> excuse me so yes nine of swords swords is your thoughts your beliefs your mindsets your attitudes your expectations this is called the insomnia card and sometimes the nightmare card all these are the small t truths of our human side, our shadow, all those supposed to be's, the should be's, the need to be's, the have to be's. These are the things that exhaust us and that literally keep us up at night or make us have nightmares because we're fearing, what does it mean if I don't meet up to all these things? But it's beautiful because this is a great sign that you are so ready to let that go. You're tired of feeling this way. You're sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. And so you're ready to release this because you have this new journey that is ahead for you. So look at this as, yes, the during 2022 is you're challenging these thoughts and these beliefs about who you were, what you were supposed to do and all that. And this is where this coming to life is about because you're letting all that go, all that energy you're investing in, all that maintaining that which that which was exhausting you before this is going to free you up yep and here you go five of cups so these are all the emotions you know you're sitting in the bathtub of your emotions feeling all the suffering and the pain that all of this thoughts and these beliefs have brought to you all these emotions that you've been feeling these three cups represent all the things that bring you suffering one is relationships of the outside world, whether that's romantic, family, friends, work, your relationships with your fur babies or feather babies, whatever relationships it was, those left you feeling empty and, and feeling betrayed. The second cup is about circumstances. So the external circumstances like education, jobs, situations like that, those things left you feeling betrayed and feeling empty. And the third cup that's spilt here is about the physical things, whether it's your body, your possessions, your bank accounts. Those things never fulfilled you. They just brought you pain and suffering, which happened on purpose for a purpose. But this is about sitting in your emotions and this transformation that happens because all these paintings that you've surrounded yourself because you have all these, all that energy you're investing in maintaining all of your pain and suffering you're ready to let go of those two. And this is about taking all those down off your walls, putting them in a photo album because you came here to experience them. So you're not going to forget them, but you're just going to put them over here and put them out of your energy field and not invest any more energy into it. You're not investing energy into these old thoughts anymore or these old feelings anymore. The five is all about changing. So you're going to be seeing things from a different perspective. And here you go. The two that I talked about as well, you know, the uh, 2022, the you times two. This is your human self and your spiritual self. And this balancing act that you're having here is you do this little dance as you mirror and move and flow in this outside life. So this is a great card for you for this reading because this is meaning that you are realizing that there's two of you. One of you was experiencing these things one of you experiences the higher things and you're becoming aware of what is real and what is not all these perceptions all these old thoughts and beliefs and these emotions it's like yeah i experienced them but you're really connecting to your capital t truths of who you really are because you're really connecting with your spiritual side obviously as i talked about here in the compass yeah because here you are, Ace of Wands, this is you, your phoenix rising from the ashes. Because the wand is all about your 
your drive, your ambition, your aha inspiration, your passion of life. It's also your spiritual energy. So you're having this new passion explode within you as you're taking your energy off of maintaining these old thoughts and beliefs, maintaining these old emotions, and you're moving beyond it. All that energy is coming back to you because these things are being removed and moved out of your energy field, and you're deciding, I have this new passion, I have this new energy, what do I want to do with it, right? Yep, and here you go, Eight of Cups. So right above the Five of Cups, this is represents all the emotions that you're ready to leave behind because you're ready to move into this new path and move into this new direction. So that's where this energy is going to be invested as you are deciding to let go of the things that no longer serve you, of these emotions that no longer serve you. There's this one tarot deck I really love. I think it's the Light Sears Tarot, but she is walking away. There's this bowl in the lower corner that has this little fire on it. It's like she did this little ritual, like she wrote down all the emotions and all the things that no longer serve her, and she set them on fire, and she's leaving them behind and moving toward the sun, walking toward the sun on this peaceful beach, because she's leaving behind and she's starting this new journey. That's kind of this feeling and this energy that I have around this one um, also for you. And here you go, you've got the King of Swords. So the king of swords, swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindset. So um, this beautiful experience you're having here. But the king holds this ace of swords, which one, it connects you to your capital, T truce of the higher realms, but it gives you also the ability to cut away these thoughts and these beliefs that no longer serve you. And I kind of want to do this because the king is going to take care of this. This is you moving beyond these emotions and with you connecting to your higher self here, this is activating this new beautiful energy within you too. So this resolution that's happening as you make this movement into 2022. The king of swords too is air energy because it's all about the mind in the thoughts and beliefs like we talked about, but all the kings also have air energy. So you have this double air coming in, which is really getting into your thoughts and your beliefs and really doing that. I mean, you being Pisces, you understand emotions. So this world is nothing to you, this journey of emotion, because it's what you've swam in as the little fishies of the zodiac. You've been you're able to deep dive into your emotions and experience in them without great impact. But this mind, the mindsets and the beliefs is really a big piece of your 2022 journey is getting into the nitty gritty of why do you believe what you believe? And is it really true? And what can you release out of your life that no longer serves you so that it's in more line with the capital T truths of the spiritual world rather than the human side of our shadow side of the supposed to's, the shoulds, all those popular opinions of opinions of opinions of opinions of everyone's ego and the human side of life, really connecting to your spiritual side and bringing in those capital T truths that don't need defending. So that'll be an indication for you too, that if you're defensive about any of your beliefs, that's of fear and that's of the ego, because the capital T truths of the spiritual world don't need defending. They are true whether people believe it or not. But we feel we need to protect small T truths because what does it mean if we're not right? You know, so that is an indication of that for you as well. Yeah, here you go. So here's the temperance card. Here's the balance of life. Again, this balancing message, the two cups, the cups of your of your human and the cup of the spiritual realm, pouring those living waters into that. And this does impact all areas of your life. You have one foot on land, which represents your outside world and your mind. You have one foot in the water, which represents your emotions and your spiritual side. So this beautiful alchemy that's happening, this balancing, this wholeness and this completeness, you know, and I don't think I touched on these two of cups behind this five of cups, which they brought to my attention just now. This is those two cups. <laughs> so these are the two cups here. It is this balancing because the human side becomes this chalice 
you know, like these three of cups never filled you up. So you're this empty cup and you're opening up to your spiritual side, which is, does bring you what you've been searching for, which within these cups is the living waters, the unconditional love of the creator of all things. That's what we're truly thirsting for. It's that which will make us feel whole and complete. So I love that the temperance card is like just the overall message. It is the two, two of you, the you times two for 2022 is this beautiful understanding, this beautiful filling up of who you really are. And then last, I'm going to pull at least one card from this Art of Manifestation Oracle. Just see what your final messages from the Creator at this point for 2022 is. So for our Pisces fire rockets, what's your final message? Okay, they do. They want all of these right here. Your first message is allow yourself to receive. Yep, allow yourself to receive from your higher self. Definitely. One of the greatest blocks is our ability to, I'm sorry, one of the greatest blocks in our ability to manifest our greatest desires is an inability to allow ourselves to receive. This card asks that you take some time to identify any inner beliefs, perceptions, and attitudes that stop you from receiving, and one by one, remove these resistances. So that's exactly what we talked about here. So that is the first card. <laughs> then you have Take a Leap. And this reminds me a lot of the, the Fool card, which represents our soul when they're leaping off into a new adventure. This says, this card is an invitation to take a leap of faith. Sometimes even when we desperately desire change, we procrastinate and find all kinds of reasons as to why we should stay as we are. It's completely understandable to be anxious when stepping into the unknown, but this card is calling you to trust and make that move. And I really feel like that card um, is for here, especially this, all this fiery energy, fiery colors. And then your final message is dislike of others. Card number 12, which is totally this here, right? <laughs> These emotions. Sometimes we form strongly negative feelings towards others. In truth, it is not them that we dislike, but their words, their actions, and behavior. This card asks you to try to detach from the experience of their behaviors and see them as a soul on their own unique pathway, attempting to manage their own challenging life lessons. So definitely there is this transformation of your emotions and how you see others. And that does happen when, when you're able to now be in this place of peace, in this place of love. You're able to look back at old emotions and old situations when you're not in fear anymore and understand that if their emotions and their actions and all everything it talked about, if they were not of unconditional love, then they were of fear and it was of them trying to control things and trying to feel lovable. So they were fearing, they were literally acting out of their minds because when we're in fear, as the human, blood rushes out of our brain to prepare us to run or to fight. And so we are literally acting out of our minds because our, we're not in our mind anymore on purpose because our body wants us to react to not get eaten by a dinosaur. So when you go back and look at a situation when you're not in fear, you can see, okay, people's actions and the things that people did and said and whatever, if they were not of unconditional love, they were out of fear and they were not intentional. They were, you know, <laughs> getting, you know, we were acting stupid or they were acting stupid literally because we're not in our minds and you can say, okay, so it's kind of like when you swim out to rescue someone from drowning and they are panicking. And so when you get close to them, their arms are going over there, the place and they smack you upside your head or they grab onto you and take you under the water with them. And yeah, you can, in your fear, you can have this story that they were trying to hurt you, trying to kill you. 
But afterwards, when we're calm and we look at the situation, we're like, yeah, they were panicking. They didn't even know it was me. And you can start to see the situation differently, start to see the person differently, and more importantly, or equally as important, you start to see yourself differently too. So this transformation of your emotions, of your thoughts and beliefs, allows you to take this leap into this new, beautiful adventure of your life. So loving, loving, loving this for you. Now remember, this is just a little sneak peek, like looking through the keyhole of your future. So it's not all inclusive of what you're gonna be going through for sure. But if you want to be kept in the loop on any new messages that come out, because I do put out videos about you know, monthly readings for each zodiac sign, weekly energy updates by fire signs, water signs, and the different elements, new moon, full moon, and a variety of other readings. So as I mentioned in the intro, if you want to get notified of when those come out, if you click the subscribe button and then the notification bell, you can choose to be notified as soon as the videos become available. So it's easy breezy and then you don't miss a thing. Also, if you're enjoying these videos, if you want to help share the love, if you give this video a little thumbs up or you know by clicking the like button that just allows the youtube algorithm to share this with others and make it a recommended video for others so never any pressure to do so but if you feel so inclined i'd greatly appreciate it all right my pisces just know as you're going throughout each and every second of every day of your life you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things and of course i love you too have an amazing 2022, but I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. So until then, you take care.